Hey guys, Miss Mankey here, and today is Friday. Um, I know you heard the news that we will not be getting together again for the rest of the school year. That makes me so sad, but I want you to know that I miss you and I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you when the school year starts again. Having my Logan shirt for Purple Friday because I miss you guys so, so much. So on Fridays, you know that we always cook. So today we are going to make Cinco de Mayo Sombrero Cookies. Hope you can see that. We're going to make some cookies. And so before we cook, what do we do first? We wash our hands. Good job. So here we go. I also want to turn on my water. I'm going to use one pump of soap. I'm going to wash my hands for 20 seconds, okay? Good job, and I'm going to rinse. Get all the rest of the ball. And shake, shake, shake. Make sure you get all of that water off of your hands. In between those fingers. I'm going to turn our water off. All right, so now that we have clean hands, we're going to look at our recipe page. Um, and I will put the picture of this in the video once I edit it, but for the time being, we're going to look at it just like this. All right, so this page shows us the things that we need. Awesome. All right, so if you print this document off and you are doing the activity with me, um, we're going to check off to make sure that we have all of our items. So the first item is sugar cookies. So here are my sugar cookies. I got these from Safeway, pack of 24. So I'm going to put a check. And this is what the kids would normally do if we were in the classroom. Um, they would all get a recipe page like this. They would get a marker, I would have them I would call on specific kids to identify different materials and ingredients on the table, and they would hold it up and show their friends, and then we would all check it off. All right. Next, this says that we need buttercream icing. So, Ms. Banker couldn't find buttercream icing, but I did find some decorating cake icing. It's white. I don't know if you can see it, but there we go. So I'm going to check that off. Check. Next, we need rainbow sprinkles. And I already had some rainbow sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles. I'm going to check that off. Next, we need some gumdrops. That is a type of candy, gumdrops. Here we have gumdrops. I'm going to check that off. Next, it says we need to have foil and tray. So here is my foil, some Reynolds wrap, and here is my baking tray. So I'm going to check those items off. Here's my check. And if you ever need to pause the video if I'm going too fast to give your kiddo some time, um, then by all means do that. Make sure that if you did print off the sheet and you're having them check off, if you have all of the ingredients, give them wait time. So say, where is the, well, where is the gumdrops? And have all of the items on the table, give them a chance to find it before you try to prompt them on where it is. Um, 
Remember, like I always say, if it doesn't feel uncomfortable, then you're really not waiting long enough. All right, next on our list, cooking spread. Here's my cooking spread. I'm gonna check that off, like so. Then we need a oven. There's my oven. <laughs> Gonna check that off. If we were in the classroom, we would be using a toaster oven. Um, so I checked that off. And last but not least, we need an oven mitt. And here is my oven mitt. Gonna check that off. All right, normally if we were in the classroom, I would um, have all of our kiddos check to make sure that we actually do have everything, that they didn't miss anything. Um, and then they would just write their name at the top and Put this page in their mailbox. All right, so let's get started. All right, so first things first, our directions say to set the oven to 350 degrees. And so I already did that. Um, in the classroom, I would have this page um, up under my Elmo. It's like a projector that shows on my Promethean board. And I would be using a dry erase marker. Um, I would have this like in a sleeve so that I can reuse it um, if we were to do this recipe again. But I would have it in a sleeve and I would check off that um, an adult set the oven to 350 degrees. I'm just going to put a check there. And they would be able to see this up on the board and they would all be at the table doing the activity together. All right, next it says put foil on tray. All right, let's do that. All right, this is a step that um, the kids could do. Um, you could have them pull out. You could tell them when to stop, when to go. Use those core words. If you have your cooking core board, it would be a great time to use this as well to point to those words. Um, on the core board, telling them when to go, when to stop, or if you do it and have them point to the core, the core words and have them tell you when to go and when you when to stop. All right, so I'm going to pull, 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 and stop. I'm going to tear this off. I'm gonna put foil on my tray. All right. So, oil on the tray, we can check that off. Cool. All right, next it says, lightly spray tray with cooking spray. We're here. Step three, lightly spray tray with cooking spray. I'm just gonna shake this up a little. The kids can do this too. If you need to do hand over hand, um, because this piece is a little smaller and the kids will have to be able to use that, um, that gross motor. So just lightly. Cool. I'm going to check that off. Next it says place cookies on tray. So I use these symbol sticks, um, for my kiddos who, don't have that sight word, rec sight word recognition yet and who are still struggling with identifying letters. So the pictures are just um, a way to also get the point across for the sentence. So this means put cookies on tray. All right, now I'm not gonna make all 24 of these cookies. That would be silly for just Miss Thinkit. So I'm going to maybe use five because it was simple to my I could have opened this this way, but because I'm not using the whole thing, I'm going to cut across the top and I'm going to save the rest of these cookies. If I could cut across the top, what's going on? There we go. All right, so Ms. Bankett is going to take this out. I'm only going to take off five cookies. This would be a, this is a great um, chance to build in some of that number sense parents. All right, here we go. So here I have one, two, 
to three, four, and five. All right, and just to make sure, I'm going to touch and count so that I know that I put five cookies on my tray. You guys see that? We have one, two, three, four, five. Awesome. I'm not going to check this off right away. I'm going to rinse my hands off so that I don't get cookie dough on my marker and my paper. And this is exactly what we would have the kids do in the room. So whichever, all of the kids actually could have picked up their own cookie. We probably would have made six because we have six kids. Um, but they all would have gotten their own cookie off of the cookie dough sheet. They would have taken their own cookie off and put their own cookie on the foil. And then they all would have, of course, washed their hands afterwards. Okay, so we placed our cookies on the tray. Now we're going to put cookies in oven and let bake for 10 to 12 minutes. So they know that this would be a job for an adult. So give me a second here. All right, I'm gonna put my cookies in the oven. Okay. Check that off. I'm going to put my timer on for 12 minutes. My phone is across the room, so I can't do that now, but normally the kids would play during this time or I would put on um, some video that related to whatever we discussed that week or whatever our new Steve story was for that Friday. Um, so now we wait. All right, so our timer went off. So now I'm gonna take my cookies out of the oven. All right, remember um, parents, this is not a job for the kids, but they know that. But we're gonna use our oven mitt to take our cookies out. Just stick them here. And I'm gonna turn my oven off too. All right, so it says, use oven mitt to take cookies out of the oven and let cookies cool for two minutes. So I'm going to check that off because I took them out of the oven and now I'm going to let them cool. And now we wait again. All right, so I have officially waited two minutes for my cookies to cool. So this is what they look like. And so how many cookies did I make? Let's count them again. We have one, two, three, four, five. We made five cookies. But our next step says, use icing to draw on outer edge of cookie. Make a dot of icing in center of cookie. So we're right here on this step. We're gonna use our icing to draw a circle on the outer edge of our cookie. And so we should all know what circles are because we have been learning and reviewing our 2D shapes this week. So here's my icing. I'm going to draw a circle on the outer edge of each cookie. Um, if we were in the classroom, the kids would have all had their own cookie and they would have gotten the chance to do this independently um, with assistance being provided when needed. And you know your kids, so you know what they are um, capable of doing independently and what they might need assistance with. All right. I'm gonna take this icing and draw a circle on the outer edge. 
Do that on each cookie. Mold number three. Cookie number four. Uh-oh, missed a spot. And cookie number five. Um, this does not have to be perfect. Whatever the kids do, just allow them to be able to take the initiative on this task. Let them facilitate it on their own. Oh, I forgot to make my dot in the middle of all of my cookies. Sorry, guys. Here we go. There's one, two, three, four, and five. All right. Well, because I have completed that step, I'm going to check it off on my recipe page, like so. All right, next it says... Turn cookie upside down into bowl or plate of rainbow sprinkles, then turn right side up. So you could take your sprinkles and put them in a bowl or on a plate, and you would literally just take your cookie and go like that into the rainbow sprinkles. Or you could um, just do this. Your choice, whichever you prefer. All right, so I'm going to get a bowl. I dump my sprinkles in. And this is what, you can't even see it. I'm going to take my first cookie. I'm going to turn it upside down. Like that. This one. Four. And five. Awesome. So now I'm going to check off that step. Like so. Okay. Now uh, it says dot bottom of one gumdrop candy with icing, place in center circle of cookie. All right, well, I'm gonna step right here. All right, so I'm gonna put my top back on my rainbow sprinkles. All right, so I already took my gumdrops out and I picked out the ones that were, at least I, I assumed were the closest to the color of the cookie. I'm going to take my icing and put one dot on there in the bottom of my gumdrop and then put it in the middle. Remember, I should have five gumdrops because I baked five cookies. All right, I'm going to put my top back on. Uh-oh. I'm going to check that off like so. And this is what they look like, guys. They're so cute. <laughs> Here we have our Cinco de Mayo sombrero cookie. And then last but not least, it says, eat and enjoy. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Here is our finished product, our Cinco de Mayo Sombrero Cookie. It's adorable. Um, we will make something else next week. Remember, if you have any suggestions, please email them to me 
or you can comment on the video on YouTube. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys.